Today we're going to take a look at the tools and explain everything. I am currently using the most recent update of explain everything. When you first open up explain everything, you're going to see the home screen. As you can see, I have several projects that I've saved in explain everything and here's where I can access each of my projects. There's a couple of choices in the upper left hand corner. The plus allows you to start a new project. If I click on the plus, I can choose my color template and it will create a new project for me. The rectangle with the plus allows you to create a new project from images. If I know I want specific images on separate slides, I can choose my images and explain everything will insert the images for me to get started on my project. As you can see, the images are already on separate slides for me. The rectangle with the arrow allows you to share a project from the home screen. If I have any recordings, I can export it as a movie file to the camera roll. I can also click on more and send my project file to other apps or email it to someone. As you can see, I can send it to Dropbox, or if I click on more, I can email my project file to someone. With the Explain Everything project file, it's important to save it so you can identify whose project it is or for what subject area. As you can see in the subject line, it automatically takes the name of my project file and puts that as the subject so I know which group this is. As you can see on the top, there are a couple other options for sharing an Explain Everything file. You can change it into a video file and share it to another app or email. It can also become a PDF file or an image file. I like to share my Explain Everything project files because it will open up with all the text, images, and voice recordings, and then my students can add or change the file, or another teacher can add to it or change the file if I share it with them. Let's open a new file to take a look at the tools. I'm going to tap the plus in the upper left corner, choose my color template, and now I have a new Explain Everything file. Before I add to this, I want to save my project right away. This is a good habit and it's important to have your students do this when using Explain Everything. To save it right away, I will click on the folder in the bottom right hand corner. It's the folder with the arrow pointing down. Here I can enter my project name. If I have a group of students, I will want them to put the name of the project and their first names or group names so I can identify the project later on. So this is my moon project. And this is by Susie, Sally, and Bobby. Once we put the names in and the name of the project, I'm going to tap on Save. And now my project has been saved. If I click on the house in the bottom right hand corner, that's going to take me back to the home screen and I can see that my moon project by Susie, Sally, and Bobby is now in my home screen. I'm going to tap on the project so I can add to it but it's really, really important that we save the project right away in case Explain F everything accidentally closes out and we don't forget, or we don't forget to save it later on in the day. We're going to take a look at a couple different features and explain everything. Right now, if you take a look at the very, very bottom here, I have one area that says slide one of one. This shows you how many slides you have in your current project. If I want to add a new slide, all I have to do is tap on this little square with the plus and I can add a new slide. So say I want a total of five slides, I'm adding all of my slides in and now if I click down here again I can see all of my slides. Something great about this slide sorter is is I can push and hold and I have a couple of different options. The X allows me to delete a slide, the four squares allows me to change the background for just that slide, and the 2x also allows me to make a duplicate of that slide. If I want to write with Explain Everything, I push and hold on the pencil tool. I can change the different width or pen tip. Down here at the bottom, I can change the different color that I would like to use. And then I can write on the screen. The hand in the upper left hand corner allows me to move my writing. The icon that's underneath the pencil allows me to bring in 
arrows or different stars if I want to do different bullet points. And I can also move these objects if needed. The A underneath the icon we just took a look at allows us to type on Explain Everything. I can choose my font, I can choose my size, and if I double tap on the screen it allows me to type. The check mark means that I'm done, and the blue arrows allows me to change the size of my text box. I can also change my alignment as well. Because I only have my name in this text box, I'm going to make my text box kind of small, and then hit the check mark, and then I can also move it around if I need to. If I hit the piece of paper with the plus, I can bring in an existing photo, video, file, new web browser within Explain Everything, a new picture, new video. The X allows me to delete an object, so if I tap on the star, I can hit the X again and it will delete it. If I hit the X on my writing, I can delete it that way. Laser pointer feature, if I click and hold, I can choose my different laser pointer that I want to use in my Explain Everything presentation. If I click and hold on the I, I can actually lock text in place so it can't be moved. I can bring objects forward or send them backwards. I can send them as a background as well or make a duplicate. The arrow underneath the eye allows you to undo something. There's a magnifying glass that allows you to zoom in. And this square allows you to get rid of the toolbar on the side as if you're going into a presentation mode. Say I'm done with my project and I need to save it because I might need to come back to it later or I might be all done. I'm going to hit the house in the bottom right hand corner. Now remember at the very beginning of this we already saved our project and gave it a name. And yes, I want to save my new changes. So I'm going to hit yes. Look, I already saved it. It says moon project. It says Susie, Sally, Bobby. So I don't need to mess with the project name. I'm just going to hit save again. And then it says file exists. Do you want to overwrite the file? Yes, I do because I made new changes to the old file. And now I'm back to the home screen and there's my saved project. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.